if I die though, I'm ending the episode. And then I want you guys to let me know. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called At Dead of Night. Now, I'm so mad about this game because it's so freaking good. But the reason why I'm mad is because, as you can see right here, it says 15% of the story complete. That means I've already played this game because I just got done recording over an hour and a half of this game. And when I went to go edit it, nothing was popping up. Like, there was no gameplay. It was just sound. And then it was stuck on one screen for an hour and a half. I was so disappointed because the recording was so good so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go through the whole thing again i guess the good thing is i actually know what i'm doing so i'll explain it on the way if you guys are cool with that you down with that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go okay so basically i'm playing as a girl that's staying at a hotel the guy that checked us in is very creepy and he's chasing us and we have to talk to a ghost because we have to figure out the story of the ghost and what happened to the ghost it says right here this is the device you found select this to switch it on it can detect spirits voices if you're near enough to them if you haven't seen it go watch the menu okay we know about this so i can literally move around and it looks realistic right like it looks real as hell so what i'm supposed to do i can call out to jimmy who's the bad guy in this game he looks like a great value bill nye the science guy like he looked like bill nye the check-in guy at the hotel so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the first floor and i told you that i already played this for an hour and a half so it's still fresh in my mind i know exactly what i'm doing so basically i have to go door to door and i literally gotta figure out what evidence i can get to talk to what spirits i know it doesn't make sense if i'm trying it for the first time but i have a mask key so that means i can open almost any single door so watch i check the chest and it says i found some old suitcases Ooh la la me mama that doesn't make any sense right now but it will soon so we're gonna need the room and i need the compass and a scrying mirror those things are gonna help me a lot so while we're on the lookout for that we're just gonna keep going in rooms and i know that this room is dark as shit but we're gonna leave because once a room is dark for some reason you can't just turn on a light like one thing i can't do and one thing that's hard for me to do is to play a game that i already played and act like i've never done it before we found the scrying mirror so what this thing does it reveals hints of where you need to go if you're stuck but yeah one thing i can't do i can't act like i never played the game before that's just one thing where i'm just like nah that's stupid you found an ornamental sword okay so everything I'm finding right now is crucial to the gameplay. It's not just like random items that I'm finding in the rooms. It's gonna help me tell the story in a second. Hold on. So let's figure this out. Make sure Jimbo's not here. Let's go to room 115, please. Nope. Okay, so some rooms we can't go into. We do have a master key, but some rooms we just can't go into. God damn, this game is so freaking scary. But yeah, I don't wanna do the thing where like, hey everybody, this is my first time playing this game. Oh, man, I totally don't know what's happening here. Nah, fuck all that. Another room that I have not been into yet. This is a child's purse. Nothing in there. Okay, let's check in here. You found an old cloth covered in bloodstains. I actually didn't find that the first time. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I actually never found that one the first time. So usually in most of the rooms where there's light, you're gonna find an item. You found some trophies and awards. I actually didn't find that either. Is this shit RNG? Come on, give me the freaking compass, dog. Okay, I found a key, deadlock key to room 106. So basically what this can do, let's say that the guy is chasing me, right? So I can actually go up to here, open this, and then I can lock the room from the inside so he can't actually get me. And then I can look through here and then listen in for footsteps. See how we don't hear anything? Everything's pretty much just, you know, like ambience. So that means he's nowhere near here. So we can just return it. And then we actually have to unlock this shit again. And then we can proceed to go through the game again. No, I haven't been to room 101 yet. I don't remember those red sheets. I know damn well I would remember that. This is the storeroom key. That is whiskey bottle. So this shit is RNG because I found those whiskey bottles. But I found that in a different room. And we found the key to stairs floor one. Wow, so this is actually very interesting because it is RNG. It's not in the same place every single time. So this might be a little fucky wucky because I thought I was going to find all the things at once. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Okay, let's go in here. And I'm pretty sure the compass is going to be in one of these little drawers. Yup, there we go. You found a compass points toward nearby spirits. So basically, if I want to talk to a spirit on this box, which won't be here, by the way, I can actually just follow the compass, and then I'll be able to talk to a ghost. So I can is ask who's there. there. 
and nobody's gonna answer because I think I know where the ghost is. It's in the basement. So this is what I'm gonna do, everybody. I'm gonna call the elevator because I think I got a good amount of evidence. I don't have everything yet, but I think I have at least a few good things. So we're gonna go to the lower ground and I don't know where he actually is. He could be on the ground floor. He could be on the basement floor. He could be on the first or second. I don't know. That's the most random thing about this game. You don't know what floor he's on. That's why you're always gonna be on itch. But um, the ghost is somewhere down here. So watch this. We're going to turn on the device. And then we're going to ask who's there. there. <laughs> what? That's weird. Is someone there? Come on. Why aren't you answering? Oh, that's weird. The first time I played this, is the girl there? was like, yeah, I'm here. I'm British, by the way. That is so freaking weird. Okay, maybe I gotta do it right here? Who's Let me ask there? who's there. Um, I mean, we can clearly hear the person on this floor crying, you know? I don't get it. I'm actually so confused right now. You know what? I think I might know what we gotta do. So we're gonna call the lift, and then we are gonna get out of here. And then, um, we are gonna go to ground floor. There you go! Got it! So we have to trigger that. That shit scared the hell out of me. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the ground floor. <laughs> and then we're gonna talk to that little girl. Okay, so let's turn back here. Uh, ground floor. You noted girl in basement. So now we can talk to her. All right. This is the good thing and the bad thing about already having to play this. How many times have I mentioned that, by the way? I should shut my ass up, huh? Okay. So let's turn on the thing. I think I'm just salty because I just got done recording this for an hour and a half. Hello. Ask who's there. Hello? There you go. What's up, girl? What's your name? What's your name? I'm Amy Bell. Hello, Amy Bell. I'm going to ask you some questions. So now we can ask spirits about the things you've seen. That's why I was going from room to room gathering evidence so we can start asking about the things that we saw. You'll see the reply when selecting the item. Okay, so let's ask about the girl in the I basement. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? We'll be like, is that you? It was me. A boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement. Then he started stealing things from me. Okay, so one thing that's hard to explain that I think the game will explain itself is how to pair items. So check this out. Let's show the items that we found. Where did let's the ask about paddle the paddle. Come from? Oh, okay, so she actually doesn't know about that, which makes sense because I didn't find it the first time I played. Let's ask about the whiskey bottles. Why was bottles. there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? I don't know. But children shouldn't drink alcohol. Okay, I got that one before. She definitely knows about the alcohol. Let's ask about the trophies. I found some trophies. Who won them? Okay, she don't know about the trophies. Why is there a blood-stained cloth in one of the drawers? It could have been mine. Okay, so that could have been hers. So that means that Who did Charles Jimmy did something to, to her. It was mine. It was for my birthday, but it was stolen. All right. Who Let's does the, the sword, sword belong to? So yeah, basically we have to find items around the hotel and then we ask the ghost about it to figure out what happened to them in this hotel. Who did the chef's hat belong to? I don't know. Okay, she don't know about the chef's hat. Let's ask her about the suitcases. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? I don't know. Hmm. She don't know about the suitcases. Okay. So, what you have to do is you have to pair two things that she mentioned and see if they relate to each other. Okay, so I did a boy called Jimmy locked me in the basement and he started stealing things from me. And also, the purse was hers. It was for her birthday, but it was stolen. So, I'm going to ask if these two things are linked. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Okay, 
Okay, so once you find things that are pairing, that basically means you progressed in the story. So we're slowly getting to where I was. Dang, I've only been recording for like a couple minutes, like 20 minutes, and we're kind of making the progress of all the stuff that I did in an hour and a half. All right, so the purse was hers. It was for her birthday, but it was stolen. So I'm going to ask about that. How do I do that? Oh, wait, I think I know where to go. We got to call the lift. And then we got to go to the ground floor because we got to trigger that event where it happened. So we're going to go to ground floor. Also, if anybody cares, how this all started was the girl that I'm playing as was basically going to a concert and then she ended up at this hotel. Okay, so we know that she's in here because that was her ghostly spirit. Is it Amy? All right, Amy. So let's ask about Jimmy stealing things from Amy. shouting to Jimmy to give you a toy back. Why did he take it? What's so funny about that? All right, was it the sword? What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? Nope. Okay, I kind of forgot what it was. All right, time to really get into it. Time to focus and put the standing desk to the seated position, and we are gonna make this shit work. Let's go. Oh god, he's over there. I saw him. Run, run. He was on the other side. Okay, Jay, Jay, move. Keep him moving, keep him moving, keep him moving. So, this is what I gotta do. Go in here. Okay. Woo! Let me look through. Please, God. I don't hear him. Oh, never mind. Jimmy Hall is on this floor looking for you. Stay away from him. He's close. He's close. Shit. What, what, do, what do I do? What do I do? Do I hide in the bathroom? Oh, this is so freaking creepy, dude. Holy crap. I don't have the key to this room. Like, I can't deadlock it from the inside. Um... I don't hear him. I don't hear him, what do I do? Like, do I just go? Bro. Okay, let me try one more time. Oh crap. Okay, you know what? Everybody, don't get scared. Don't get scared, we're leaving the room. He might be here, but you know what? Let's see. Nope, he's not. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh God, don't do that! Oh shit. This way? This way? No, stop, 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 stop. This keeps pissing me off. Can we go this way? Is it 112 or 122? I can't remember. Let me see. In here? That's the coin purse shit again! Oh, we're so screwed. I am so screwed. Let me see if he's here. Please, God. Dude, this game is so freaking creepy. Alright, I don't hear him. So, we're gonna risk it, okay? Everybody, clench those cheeks. Because I don't know where he is. Okay. Uh, this way? 120. Where's 122? Is he here? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 118. I've never been in 118, have I? Oh, it's too dark. Shit. Okay, leaf. Holy crap. Please don't be here. Oh, I can't take it. I can't take it. 118? Please? Or 121? Okay. 122. There it is, there it is. Go, 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 go. Oh! Okay, something I need is in here. Check inside. Um, deadlock key to room 122. Oh, I'm getting nervous now. You found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. That's exactly what I needed to see. You found some childish violent drawings and nothing in there. Okay, so let's see if he's here. That's what I needed to find. The childish drawings and the turpentine. Oh, crap. I heard like some faint footsteps. 
Okay. We're gonna make a run for the elevator on three. Okay? Everybody, get ready. Run for the elevator on three. One, two, three. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. No, 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 right here. This way? Um, which way am I going? Jay, what are you doing? Right here. Got it. Come on. Go, 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 go. Pick it, pick it! Come on. Holy shit. Oh my god, I'm so freaking nervous. G, G, like I'm a G. Dude, I can't believe I'm avoiding this guy like a freaking boss. So that was one of the things I needed to ask the girl about. It was the turpentine and the lighter. And also the childish drawing. So let's keep going this way. This is a very weird game, but it's a very cool game. Like, I can't explain it. So let's ask Amy about one of the things that we collected, which was turpentine and the lighter. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? Okay, so yeah, every time you get the right things linked, you're gonna get like this cryptic vision about what you need to do next. So we gotta go on the first floor, and then we gotta go to one of the rooms. 109, huh? 109. 109. Oh my god! Go, 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 go. 109. Come on. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What, which one is this? 120? I'm screwed. Holy crap, I'm screwed. Go, 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 go. 109, 109. Come on. Which one's this? 106? Uh, please go up. No, 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 no. No, no. That's- No, no! This way. This way. Okay. Oh, no. Can you stop? Which way is it? Is it this way? Oh my god, why do I keep turning, dude? I'm destroying myself. I'm killing myself softly right now. 102. I am so screwed. Oh! Oh god! God, please, 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 please. Run, 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 run. Go. This way. Okay, I don't give a damn. I don't give a double doggy style damn, bro. Just look through here. Holy crap. Did he just fart at the end? Oh shit. Return, return. I can't. What the heck? Okay. I think that means he's gone. Like when he just walks away like that? Please tell me. Okay, he's gone. Thank God. Okay. Which way do I go? Jay? Which way are we going? Oh my god! Not again! Come on. This way. This way. Come on. 109, man. Just find this stupid room. What's wrong with you, Jay? God. Being a freaking hoe right now, man. Being the ultimate hoe. 121. No, this ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't it, bro. Keep going this way. Wait. No. He's here. I think. Unless he's not. He's here unless he's not. That makes sense. 112. Oh my god. Well, that's 107. Is it here? Please tell me. 106. So it's gotta be here. Right here. Oh my god! Dude! I don't know where the hell I'm going, bro. 108. 109's gotta be here. Right here, thank you. Oh, God damn. Okay, the girl's in here. There, she's right there. God. I can't believe I had to play hide and seek with that dude like that. Are you kidding me, man? Is it Amy? So much anxiety with this game. Yeah, okay. it's me. Amy's in here. We basically gotta follow her spirit. 
So let's ask why Amy's holding a toy. I on saw fire. you holding a toy on fire. What happened? Now, we still have to stay on the first floor. There's a cryptic image of a sword. I don't know who this guy is. I saw him in the other vision, but I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. So, Amy said, my hand got burned. It was really hurting, but I couldn't tell anyone. Okay, so I don't really know what we're supposed to do after this. So let me check if that guy's still here. Let me see. My girl's shaky. I wonder if we have like a little sanity bar. Maybe not. I don't hear him though. Oh, yes I do. Yes I do. Never mind. <laughs> He's calling for me. Do I just wait? I hear something like in the distance. It doesn't sound close at all. You guys hear that? Okay, I'm gonna wing it. Everybody, get ready. Get ready. Everybody, get ready. Come on. Let's go this way. Nope, not this way, not this way. Second floor. That's what it was kind of telling me, right? Second floor? Or was it just pointing to the sword shits? I don't know, but we're going to floor two. Let's figure out what we're gonna do here. So that guy that was in the vision, the one that wasn't Jimmy, there was another dude. I have no idea what he's up to. So whatever he's doing, it's all new to me. Let's see. Check around here. It told me to go to the second floor. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, do I check in here? Oh, okay, yeah, so these are some new rooms. So let's see. Check in this. Oh, there's a scrying mirror, but we already have that. Ain't nothing in here. Labeled storeroom. Okay, so we found a storeroom key. Nothing in there. Let me check something real quick. Let me look at the scrying mirror. Let me see what I need to do. I need to go to room 217 and 218. Okay, so I did go to the right floor. So 217 and 218 and then something's gonna happen. But then his face popped up, so I wonder if he's on the same floor too. I think that's what it means. Is that what you all think it means? It means something. But 218, 217, that's where I am. Wait, I'm here. That's weird. I'm already in 218 and 217. What the hell? Hold up. Something weird's going on. I'm already here. So do I use the ghost fight device? Is anyone there? What the heck? Okay. Never mind. That's pretty weird, huh? It told me where to go, but I'm already here. Interesting. Okay. You know what? I think I know what to do. Let's go out. And then I think that we gotta look at the rooms. We don't actually be here. So, let me go here. And this is what we do? Yup, there we go. Jimmy? Yeah, I've never seen this part before. I'm Dr. Bose. I'm just here to have a little chat, okay? Dr. Bose. Thank you, Jimmy. I won't be long. What the hell? Okay, that is random. You noted man in suit knocking on door. Yeah, I've never seen this part before. This shit random. Okay, let me look in here. You found a washing line and a rolling pin. Por qué? What does this shit mean? Can I ask is who's there? there? Oh, crap. Yeah, I've never heard this guy before. Ask their name. What's your name? Dr. Bates. I'm a clinical psychiatrist. Okay. What were you doing knocking on the door? I saw a man knocking on the door, on the door telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? It was me. I got a call from Rose, Jimmy's mother. She wanted me to talk to Jimmy, find out what was bothering him. Okay, I have a violent drawings thing here. Maybe I can ask about this. 
So let's ask about the drawings. Who drew those violent pictures? Jimmy. He used to draw them. Okay. Um, let's ask about what you said about knocking on the door and the violent drawings. Let's see if that when pairs up. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have anything to do with what you said about those violent pictures? I'm pretty sure I got this one right. Yeah. Hell yeah! Okay, so I'm hunting two ghosts at one time. Because I was talking to the little girl, now I'm talking to this doctor who I've never heard from yet. So I gotta go back to the first floor. Okay, so we finally met somebody new. Dr. Bose! That's what his name was. Good old Dr. Bose. So let's go to first floor. Let's go here. Um, first floor. And then we still got to talk to Amy and figure some stuff out about her. Because when I played through this the first time, and I'm already losing my voice, even though I haven't been recording that long. Um, I figured out a little bit more about Amy. So I think what I have to do is I have to trigger one more event. I think I know where to go. Jimmy? Oh, I see him. He went that way. Okay, go, 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 go. There, there it is. Okay, this is where I need to be. Exactly right here. I'm telling you, Jimmy, you can't do that. You're home. Okay, hurry before Jimmy gets my ass. Okay, from this room. You noted Amy scared outside of a room. So let's talk to her. Is it Amy? Ask who's there. Man, this game is so freaking cool. Okay, let's ask why you were scared outside of the room. I saw you outside a room. Something frightened you. What was it? I was trying to find a doctor, but Jimmy threatened me and made me stay. We're gonna combine she was trying to find a doctor, but Jimmy threatened me and made me stay with the sword. Because he had a sword and she didn't like when it. When you said you needed a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to stay. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? I think this is it. Yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Making good progress. So basically, Jimmy was tormenting this little girl and we had to figure out what exactly he did to her. So, wait, where do I go now? Hold on, I was talking to you guys, so I couldn't really pay attention. Hold on, let me, let's make sure this asshole's not here. Yep, he's here. Oh God, he's here. Damn, if I just opened the door and I didn't even look, he would've got me. What? What? Is he really out there? You gonna come back? Do it again. Come on, double back. Triple back. Broke back. All right. He ain't coming out. He ain't coming out. It's Cap. He's gone. I think I already have this all figured out. Once they leave one time, they're gone. Like, they're gone, gone. Room 112. Was it 112 or 122? Shit, I can't remember. Is it here? Yup, there it is. Okay. Let's open this up. Okay, let's ask about her drinking something I saw horrible. You drinking something. You didn't seem to like it. What was it? Okay, so we are going to pair what she just said with the alcohol that we saw right here. When you said the medicine tasted horrible, does that have anything to do with what you said about the whiskey bottles? Maybe. She told me to keep drinking it. It was horrible. Okay, so Jimmy got her drunk, and then I think this is where I ended the gameplay. Because I don't remember anything after this. I don't remember meeting the doctor that we saw earlier in the episode. I don't remember anything that happened after this. So everything that I do now is kind of just like I'm winging it. So let's turn off the vice. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to look at the scrying mirror. And now everything I do is going to be new up until this point. So we finally caught up. So I'm happy about that. I was mad that the recording didn't record. 
But I'm happy that we're back to where we were, even though my voice is completely gone now. Because I did die a lot. I got like a lot of jump scares that happened to me. But I do this for you guys. So we have to go to floor three? And then we gotta meet this asshole? Alright, I'm pretty sure that this is Dr. Bose. So we gotta go to the third floor and we just gotta meet this guy. I don't know what this shit is. What's this random ass table? What am I gonna do? Snore some lines on that? And then he's over there laughing his ass off, looking like a broke down Jim Carrey. Okay. Let's go. Dude, looking like Jim Scary. What the hell am I doing? Get out of there. Okay. So, let me look one more time. Because I'm not trying to die. I'm trying to one-take Jade this. No jump scares. No jump scare playthrough. I hear him. I hear him talking that shit. Where you at, my G? Come on. Come out here. Yep, there he is. All right. All right. There you are. Is he gone? We'll wait like five more seconds. One, two, three, four. Okay, everybody, he might be out there. So I'm gonna need you all to not be scared. Prepare yourselves for it, prepare yourselves for it. Okay? Prepare. Okay, we're good. Yep, we're good. I gotta get back to the elevator. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, God! Come on, right here. Click it, click it, click it! Come on! Come on! God damn it! Three. Oh! Bitch! I mean, if he really wanted to, we could have pressed that button to make the elevator open again. But he's a capper. He's the ultimate capper. And I've never been on floor three. So we're going through this journey together. Because I have no idea what this ugly ass floor looking like. Oh shit, on my tits. Okay, this looks creepy. Ooh, what the heck is this? Oh no. I'm nervous. Everybody, I'm so freaking nervous. You found a ring in its box? I'm still in that. I gotta make some money, you know what I mean? If I die though, I'm ending the episode. And then I want you guys to let me know. <laughs> oh my god! I hate that. I hate that. That actually was not nice. It made my already gone voice gone gone. Like my shit was gone. Now it's like capital gone gone. That's not cool. That's not right. Come on, wake up, dude. Wake up. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. But there's gotta be some cutscene that I gotta trigger on the third floor that'll lead me back down to the second or the first floor, or even the ground floor. So let's explore a little bit more because this bald ass, he got me real good. I might, I might be just, oh, there. Okay, so that's what I have to trigger. Can I try this? You noted Amy at the top of the stairs. I've never been here before. Okay, Is let's ask if Amy? It's, she's here. If it's she's here, what the hell's wrong with me? I'm scared. Oh, okay. So, I think I know what that means. I think I actually have to find the stair keys. Do I have stair keys? Hold on, what kind of keys do I have? The storeroom key, that's the only key I have? Oh crap. Okay, I gotta find some keys. Hold up. We're gonna go to the second floor, and I gotta go to the stairwell. Once I go to the stairwell and figure out why Amy was on the stairs, then I'll end today's episode. Yeah, I can smell it in here. This shit smells like a stair key would be in here. Right here. Oh, okay, right here. Oh, okay, right here. Oh, right here. Oh, come on. Yep, I smell the stair key here. It's right here. Look. Oh. Okay. What about what about here? Yes, there we go. Stairs floor two. Okay, I don't even give a shit what's over there. Let's go. Stairs floor two. If this guy's out here, man, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him before he kills me. Okay. Okay. He knows that I'm gonna kill him before he kills me. I'm not a capper. I'm not a capper. Oh shit! I'm a capper. I'm a capper. I'm a capper. Go, 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 go. 
I'm the biggest capper. I'm the biggest capper. This way, this way. Jay, go, 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 go. Come on. What, what? Wait. Oh, God. Hide. I didn't know. I thought there was a way out. Okay, let's see. Fuck, I'm a capper, dude. I'm such a hardcore capper. He's close. Oh, my God. Hide, 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 hide. What the heck? Oh, my God. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. How does he not see me? How does he not see me? Yep, I'm dead. Ain't no freaking way. How? For real? Yo, for real, for real. How though? Wait, why am I just leaving? I'm dead. Oh no, I'm not. What the f I knew it. I'm sorry. That was my fault. I apologize for that, everybody. I got way too excited. Do, 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 do. Come on, open the fuck up! Yeah, buddy. Go up. Okay. So now this is where the haunting is. Right here. Let's freaking do this. There you are, Amy. Okay. So I am going to ask you about what you were doing at the top of the stairs. Is it Amy? Well, after I asked you if it's Amy. Yeah, it's Amy. She sounds kind of weak, right? Like something happened to her? I saw you at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What were you doing? Yeah, what were you doing there? I felt really light. I really thought I could jump down to the bottom. Mm. Like that one dude testing out his parachute at the top of the Eiffel Tower at like 1922, 1932? I don't know. You guys know that. Oh, crap. So that, that's what happened. She thought she could fly. Shit. So do we have to go to the bottom? Hold on. Let's see. Let's go down. She thought she could go all the way down to the bottom, right? Let's keep going down. Oh, crap. Dude, we gotta go all the way down, dude. Shit. Oh, this is creepy. Dude, this goes on forever, too. Can't go in here? Okay. Let's try it's asking. Amy. I don't know what to do. Oh, crap. What the? Dude. Oh my god, I kind of expected that, so I was like preparing for it, like my eyes, I was like, oh, okay, so let's talk to Amy it again. Amy? It didn't scare me that bad because I was expecting to see that when I turned around. Yeah, it's me. Okay, cool. I saw you lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to you? I jumped, but then it all went dark and I couldn't wake up. Damn. Did Jimmy make her do it? Yeah, I think Jimmy made her do it. But then I didn't see Jimmy there. Well, we found out what happened to this girl. So can her spirit go to rest now? Is that what we do? You completed Amy's story. All right, cool. So we completed one story of the ghost. All right. So that was pretty cool. So now I think we just got to complete Mr. Bose's story. And then there should be someone else's story that we're completing. I don't know. I don't know how many ghosts there are. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys are curious about what the rest of this whole game has in store, let me know because I've only completed 19% of it. I thought I completed more of it last time. That's pretty weird. But yeah, if you want me to make this into a series and complete the full game, let me know down low in the comments below that you want more. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!